If I'm not mistaken, I did this first part, right? About the carbon cycle? Some people may have been away. Is there anyone that <laughs> missed out on these handouts on the carbon cycle? Desiree, did you? Yeah? Okay, so let's get... So, you will remember that we were talking about the carbon cycle. Um, and I said at the end, you should know what the carbon cycle is, understand how carbon is recycled, and show possible path that a carbon atom might take. And you'll remember that Friday, I, remember, I think it was Grace that said she actually enjoyed the class. I liked it. Did you? I think you said that too. I learned a little bit. Did you? What did you learn? Do you remember? I learned that carbon dioxide is what makes the trees mass. That's right. Where does the trees mass come from? It comes from the carbon dioxide in the air, pulls the carbon out, gives off oxygen, which is good for humans, right? Takes the carbon and builds the tree. Literally out of thin air. Thin air. Should I show this quick YouTube video as a review of what carbon cycle is? Yeah, technically thicker. Like, okay. Let, let's take a minute or so. I don't think it was very long. For, or maybe this was the one. Was this the one? With the, 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 the mass of the tree? Come on. Was it, was it, was it, is it starting up? There we go. Well, we are. But I'm just kind of thinking about like reviewing what we did because it's been a long weekend. It's literally. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so this is where the trees get the mask. Okay, so I don't want to show this again. Okay. I'll just, I'll just review this. So, remember what the water cycle is? What do you think the carbon cycle is? Oh, maybe this is the one I should. Well, I remember the water cycle. Yeah. Let's do, let's do this as a review. The biggest issue is that the amount of carbon that's locked up in the ground, in vegetation in the ground, is comparable to the carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere. But the problem is we are taking more out of the ground, right, than plants are able to pull back, right? So we're we're dumping more in than it can pull out. Right? That's the idea. Okay. Key element for living things is the carbon. Uh, do you remember this one? Which one was it? Through what inorganic carbon is recycled into or complex organic substances? <laughs> that would be C photosynthesis, I think, right? <coughs> photosynthesis, whoopsie. What did I just do? Um, and then, so, but then we talked about how photosynthesis is what plants do. They are opposite processes, so they take organic carbon or inorganic carbon and convert it to organic. Cellular respiration, which is what cells do, humans do, animals do, we take organic carbon and convert it into inorganic. Right? So that's called cellular respiration. Opposite. The opposites of each other, yes. Right? They're opposites. And if we left things alone, then these would be balanced, right? But but we're doing we're also burning carbon. So we've got more in here than there is that can be balanced by photosynthesis, right? And I showed you this picture here, and I showed you how many different ways carbon can get into the atmosphere, right? There's more ways up than there are down, right? There's very few down. And that's really it in a nutshell. It's not that hard to understand, is it? Why, why, do, why are there so many people that are so, they, they, oh, like the science isn't clear, oh, it's still up for debate. It's pretty obvious when you look at a picture like that. I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're talking about here, combustion. I think we did this, right? I think this is where I ended. Did I not? Most carbon from life forms re-enters the atmosphere when the organism dies. Sometimes the carbon forms fossil fuels such as coal, oil, or natural gas. Combustion is the burning of these fuels. So if you didn't get those done down, you should do that now. Okay, so combustion is most carbon from life forms re-enters the atmosphere when the organism dies. Sometimes the carbon forms fossil fuels such as coal, oil, or natural gas. And combustion is the burning of these fuels. So we're putting more carbon into the atmosphere than we can take out. Okay, this is where we left off, I think, right? All right, so let's just go through this here quickly. So there are uh, three main storage areas that are reservoirs or storage areas for inorganic carbon, non-living carbon. And the first one is the atmosphere, air. And that is where we store carbon as CO2.
It's the smallest. Hard to believe. The atmosphere is pretty big, isn't it? Hard to believe it's the smallest. The second one is the ocean. Oceans. Lots and lots and lots of dissolved CO2, and it's used by plants for photosynthesis in the earth or in the um, in the ocean. <clears throat> Major carbon reservoirs. Deep ocean, 38,000 gigatons. The top layer of the ocean, 1,000 gigatons. The atmosphere, 600 gigatons. Pre-industrial. What does that mean? Like part of the industry? Before the Industrial Revolution, before factories were burning coal and stuff like that, um, there was about 600 gigatons of carbon in the atmosphere. Vegetation, about 600. They Remember that it said that the vegetation in the atmosphere was comparable, which means they are more or less equal, right? About 1,560 gigatons of carbon in soil. And look at this one. 66 million gigatons of carbon dioxide in sediment and rock. So where is the most carbon stored? The Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is the biggest by far, by overwhelming amount. Earth's crust is the biggest reservoir of carbon there is, and it's stored in sediment to turn into limestone, and volcanic activity can bring it to the surface. We should also say that it's stored as fossil fuel. There is a lot of carbon left in the ground. They always talk about, oh, when oil is going to run out. Is oil going to run out? Yeah, eventually. Tomorrow? No. Next week? No. In your lifetime? No. Oh. What's one way to ensure that it runs out quicker? Use more. Use more. What's one way to make sure it runs out later? Everywhere. Use less. Oil is a fossil fuel, right? Yep. So wouldn't there be more being produced? Just keep making more. True. The problem with that thinking, Charles, and that's not a ter you're right. There is more and more being produced, but it takes so long to turn sediment and old dead or empty powder into coal and oil. Like we're talking millions and millions of years. Right? Like so if you just bury everybody in this one big pit. Yeah, and wait a thousand million years? Yeah. Sure. There you go. Fuel. Right? <laughs> Fuel. Yeah. It's, the problem is that the process <laughs> takes incredibly long. Okay? Chances are pretty good, in my opinion. Chances are pretty good that at the rate we're going, we're going to have climate change major issues before we run out of oil. Running out of oil is not going to cause us to stop using it. Eventually, something else is going to have to cause us to do that. Yeah. Okay, so um, here's some other reservoirs for organic carbon. You are a carbon reservoir. You are made of carbon. The the grass at your house, your your pets, your anything that's living is a reservoir for organic carbon. Apparently, you need to write something here, Charles. Apparently, you need to write something here. You know, this is on that sheet that I handed the other day, right? The yeah, one that Brian has. That oh, that's too bad. Not actually looking. I was actually because my mom didn't believe me that. We pull the trees, get the mess from that. Oh, yeah? So I took it out Really? Good for you. And what did your mom say? She still didn't believe me. What? After you showed her the video? I I'll send you the video. I should have sent it to you to Schoology? Yeah. Yeah? Where did she think it comes from? The dirt. See, again, the argument is, if the tree comes from the dirt, how come there's not less dirt? I said that. And what'd she say? She just says it doesn't eat the dirt. Okay, so uh, carbon is stored in all living things, usually decomposes into inorganic form in bogs, like when you go up to Clear Lake, there's low oxygen, it decomposes slowly, sometimes trapped with sediment. This is what forms coal, is when there's low oxygen. 
forms coal, it forms peat. Peat is like the precursor, the, 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 the initial part to coal. What also happens in the oceans, um, where there's low oxygen, dead animals trapped by sediment, this forms oil. So different things create different. Correct. And different conditions. It's very complex. Having said that, the whole concept is pretty relatively straightforward. We're pumping too much carbon into the atmosphere. <coughs> it ain't right. Everyone good? Thanks, AJ. Okay, so here we're talking about the human impact, which is kind of what I've been getting at all along, right? Humans have modified the cycle by releasing carbon faster than normal. How are they doing this? Breathing. Well, the answers, possible answers are mining, burning fuels, clearing forests, all of the above. Well, you'll note that D is all of the above. So if you think it's A, B, and C, pick D. Uh, you can actually pick two if you think one is not true. You can pick A and B on some questions, if I have it set up for like that. Desiree, do you have an answer? I'm hoping you got it, because the answers? Yeah, D, all the above. I know it's you. You always mess up. It is you. You got, you got zero percent. Wait. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got A. You got A. Silly Mr. Bennett. No, the answer is clearly D. Can you please get that out? Wait, wait. Who put the other one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone put B. Okay, let's start it again. So, yes. Pick A, even though the correct answer is? Was it in this Was it in this set? Was it Friday that I made that? So, let's go back. Let, remind me to fix that. Remind me. Yeah, when I'm done here. Okay, now you should. Yeah. Who put D this time? Guaranteed. Yes, the correct answer is D, but to get the mark, right, you're going to have to pick A, right? Guaranteed. Okay. I gotta go. Oh yes, so we're good. I'm gonna hand you the sheet here, and you're gonna fill this in. Here's sort of a very simplified version of Earth's ecosystem. Are we gonna, are we gonna play this game? You're going to. I'm gonna explain it today, and then you're gonna play it on Thursday. So it's gonna be one of the things you're gonna do with Mr. Madugo. Okay, I'm gonna explain it today. Okay, so I would like to point out this animal right here. Animal. What animal is that, do you think? That is a uh, dairy horse. That's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like I've had this pointed out to me before. It's like, Mr. Bennett, what is that? Because it kind of looks like part cow, part horse. So I, I affectionately call this the chorus. Because it does look like a cow with a horse head, does it not? And I prefer chores because the other option would be a how. <laughs> Which is my mother's maiden name, so it didn't seem right. So we're going we're gonna to call it chores. Okay, so how does, what, how does the animal fit into the carbon cycle? Well, right in here, I want you to draw an arrow. Cellular respiration. Right? The animal does what to put carbon into the atmosphere? Oops. Hoops. Burps. Farts. Burps. Breathes. Actually, poops was not true because that would be the other way. <laughs> Some carbon aroma? Hmm. Does aroma have carbon molecules? I don't think I want to get into that discussion. Okay, so, yes. The house, the chores, certainly farting and burping, it produces methane into the atmosphere and breathes, right? What about plants? What do they do? 
How do they fit in? Where is it? Come on, there it is. The plants pull out carbon through photosynthesis. So far, we're balanced. We're pretty good. Right? We give and take. We've made an agreement between the, the source and the atmosphere and the plant. A treaty, if you will. Okay, but along came the, the man. It goes Industry. And which way does it go? In the yeah. Byproducts of combustion. Clearly, that is one going in that direction. <coughs> And in fact, right? If we want to be like to scale, pumping a lot, and not just industry, cars, transportation, right? I guess Charles, here's something you can do. You like driving your truck, but you ride the school bus, right? Is that a give and take? You drive your truck kind of around town, but you ride the bus to school. So that's a good thing. What if you drove your truck, but you also carpooled or rode your bike or something else, right? Or if you got like a battery electric truck. Uh, no. no? That thing, uh, no oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, the ocean plays part because we have evaporation, which puts carbon into the atmosphere, but we also have this dis dissolution, it dissolves carbon dioxide. There is a lot of carbon dioxide in the ocean. So that's kind of a so how does trade off. I don't get it though. Like, I get the tree, but. The carbon dioxide goes into the ocean. Yeah. So what does the ocean do with it? It just, it just there. sits there, yeah. So the ocean... It, it's used by plants in the... Um, plants in the ocean to grow as well, right? Like, they, they do photosynthesis as well. There's plants in the ocean that use it. So the Not a lot. just getting dirtier. Yeah, it's, it, the carbon... There's a lot of... And actually what's happening is the carbon that's in the oceans is creating... Uh, a lower pH, a higher acidic content. So the oceans are becoming more acidic, which is causing problems for uh, coral reefs and stuff like that. Yeah. No. Fossil fuels. What do they do? Where is it? Oh no. It's right there. They're used by industry, right? So it's kind of like the path. Fossil fuels go to industry and transportation, and that's kind of the path that way, right? Yeah. I'm a fun guy. Where is it? Did I? Oh, right there. Decomposition. Right? Bacteria and fungi decompose litter and waste. I.e., litter and waste is a fancy word for poop. So, which way is that arrow going? It's going both ways. Right? Yeah. Because bacteria and fungi will also die, right, and become waste product. Bacteria and fungi can take that waste product and, and turn it to grow and use it as food. So that's sort of a give and take. Uh, the horse poops. Come on, we're all on that. What? Oh, I already did that. I did hey, that. Hey, exactly. Yeah? I did that exactly to his. That is hilarious. Anyone surprised in the room? No one's surprised, Charles. No, you're not. <laughs> I did do that. Yes. So, so the, the chores will die, the chores will poop, becomes litter and waste. Right? So that's going that way. The chores. The chores. Cellular respiration. Bacteria and fungi will also put <coughs> excuse me, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Have I got them all? Oh yeah. The the animal also eats plants, right? Have I got any more anywhere? Can you see any more? Holy. I think that's it. Why is there so, oh my god, look at that. Yeah. Holy. It's a big cycle. 
Oh, there is more here. Right. Plants die. They're used up by bacteria and fungi. Plants die, litter and waste. Yeah. All right. So you can clearly see it's a big cycle. It was so simple. I mean, we had to go and go litter all in the horse poop. So the horse poops and it makes the bacteria. You <laughs> mean the chores? The chores. And then the dogs. Okay. I got <laughs> Okay, so I got two things left. I got to explain the game and I need to explain a project. Oh, I got one more thing to do. <laughs> Okay. Can you go to, do you guys have the project sheet with you or is it over there on the shelf? You don't have it? It's over there? Why is there so many numbers on this? I'm going to explain that later with you. Okay. So, part of the ecosystem project is, do what I'll do is I'll put it up on the screen. Part of the ecosystem project is. Are we having a test in this or is it just a project? Um, we might have a quiz? quiz of some kind, yeah. Uh, it's just a oh no, where's the. There's the folder for it. Somehow I've managed to completely lose the project. Oh, maybe. No. Okay, well. Okay. If you have it, it's the cycle over here. So assignment number two says cycles. Okay? In the, in the ecosystem project, there should be more back there. If I have to make more, I will. I'll leave some more. Well, I have thing has one. Okay, it's probably there. I, I, I only got about 10 minutes left, right? So it says using your ecosystem. So you're going to take your ecosystem that you created and you're going to turn it into this. Okay? So you're going to show how your ecosystem works for the carbon cycle. Okay? So be sure to include arrows of movement. So I'm sure you're going to have animals that breathe and poop. So if they all breathe. They all do. Yeah. So I want you to show those arrows. I want you to show them breathing. And you also need to you may need to add some abiotic features. Okay? So you're gonna have to add things like what? Oceans, some kind of industry. You're gonna have to add things that are putting the carbon into the atmosphere, okay? I'm drawing our ecosystem. So you're going to, it's going to have to be big. If you want the pencil crayons, they were here. Maybe Mrs. Genick has them back. Are they in that box? They're in that green one. That green and blue one. I'll see if I can find it. I think Mrs. Genick has it back. Okay? You should complete this as a drawing with labels, animals, plant, fossil fuels, and waste, and color. I should see words like photosynthesis, Cellular restoration, decomposition, combustion, evaporation, maybe some of the animals in your food web drive trucks. Maybe, right? Combustion, evaporation, dying, eating, all these things as some of the processes that cycle carbon uses. You may need to add things like ocean, litter and waste, bacteria, fossils to make the cycle more complete. So you're going to have to add quite a bit. Sorry, just do your I gotta finish on this guy real quick. Okay, does that sort of make sense? 
Yeah, Logan, are you listening? Okay, so you're going to have to add a fair bit. I'm hoping that you've got a fair bit of white space. Okay, now the carbon cycle gain. You've got that tracking sheet. Okay? So it's going to look like this. You're going to have these, okay? And you're going to place them around, okay? So oceans, it's all color coded. Okay, so you're going to take the ocean. Or that was about that way. Okay. So this is going to be the ocean table. And they're going to be placed around the room, right? And at the ocean table, you're going to take these cards, which are kind of color coded, they kind of match. And you're going to place them like this, upside down. Okay? And there's going to be two dice, two dice at the at the table. Now what do the instructions say there on your sheet? Place the colored cards around the room, each of the on the table, place the cards face down and shuffle them. Pick them up. Okay, so there's different ones here. There's oceans, litter and waste. You're going to put them at different tables around the room. Okay? So place the cards face down. Randomly assign students to tables and have them roll the dice for turning hard. Pick to go somewhere. I don't care where you go. I'll be in I'll be in litter and waste. I'll I'm feeling like poop today. I'll be at club. Yeah. Come on, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, you mean like, uh, 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 I'll be in the ocean. So all right, spread yourself around the room, okay? <laughs> when everyone is set, each student at the front of each line rolls. So let's just say, for example, Alyssa and Michaela are at the, <laughs> for example, okay? Oh, they decide who's at the start of the line, okay? Alyssa's at the start of the line, Michaela's second in the position. Yeah. Whenever one is set, each student at the front of each side rolls. So she's going to roll the dice, right? At each location, you get a line, and it's your turn to roll to roll the dice. If you get a seven or double, you pick up a card. So let's say that you're here, set. Okay. So you're going to roll. Well, we're going to uh, record this, right? Right? Are you recording? Okay. So you're going to roll the dice, right? I get an eight. I don't do nothing. I just stay there. It's next turn. Okay, now it's Michaela's turn. Michaela rolls. She gets eight. Now it's my turn. I roll nine. This is five. It's nine. I can get nine. Four or five. I get doubles. I get doubles. Okay, Charles? So I pick a card, and it says I'm going to make a transfer. And it says, you are in the ocean. You are in the form of bicarbonate. You are released into the atmosphere. That's CO2. Go to the atmosphere pool. So I put that back down, and guess where I go? I go to the atmosphere table, and I join that line. Okay? And there's going to be people that are doing what? Shuffling. Rolling the dice. And you only pick a card when you get seven or double. So most of the time, you're just going to be staying where you are. We should totally put okay. seven doubles per number one. Most of the time, you're, you're staying where you are. You have to make at least 10 transitions. Now, I left you 42 rolls. If you run out... 42 rolls. If you run out of 42 rolls of dice, if you run out of space, continue on loosely. Okay? Every time you roll, you write down, Charles, what you rolled, and the location before the roll and the location after the roll. So, in other words, I'm in the ocean, so I write my number roll, I write down three. My location before the roll was ocean. My location after the roll is still ocean. ocean. A I lot of them are going to be the same. You should find where are you going to end up and stay a lot. Uh, Earth and crust. Earth's crust. Yeah, so how come? Because the most carbon dioxide. So, you can do that. If you want, if you have time, if you want to play it more than once, you can. Okay? So that's scheduled for Thursday. Does that make sense? You got it recorded? I will explain it to Mrs. Google too. I'm thinking between all of you and Google. Okay? Awesome. I'm done for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Those of you that are going to be away tomorrow, I will record bioaccumulation lesson. Alyssa, Charles. You guys should watch it sometime during yeah, no. Tomorrow I'm going to explain the bioaccumulation game about the time we'll be hurt. If you're really having trouble, this is the can come over and explain it. I got you that. Yes, I Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>